The next generation of Formula 1 cars will be just as powerful as ever when they hit the track in 2026. But they will use significantly less energy and emit net zero CO2 emissions thanks to an all new engine regulation agreed upon this week. Here are the facts not only about the next generation of Formula 1 power units. I'm Luke Trigger and this is Simply F1. The FIA World Motorsport Council has approved power unit regulations for the 2026 season. With increased electrical power and 100% sustainable fuels being two of the key features of the newly approved rules. Formula One's intensive research and testing has resulted in the new F1 power units running on fully sustainable fuels. This means that no new fossil fuels will be burned, with carbon coming instead of non-food sources, genuine municipal waste or even the atmosphere. The current 1.6 litre V6 turbocharged internal combustion engine will be upgraded with a much more powerful electrical component. The MG UK will nearly triple the electrical power produced by the current hybrid components. More braking energy will be collected than what would otherwise be wasted and the goal is for the MG UK to produce around 350 kilowatts in 2026. With a higher proportion of electrical power, less fuel will flow to the engines and less fuel will be used overall. But the power units will still provide more than 1000 horsepower and they may even be louder. In 2013, each car used 160 kilograms of fuel during a race. By 2020, that figure had dropped to 100 kilograms. And by 2026, F1 hopes that each car will use only 70 kilograms of fuel during a Grand Prix. With the MG UK closed within the chassis, alongside the battery and control electronics, all high voltage equipment will now be contained within the safety cell, making the cars safer. An engine specific cost cap, as well as the banning of expensive manufacturing materials and systems such as the MG UH, as well as the use of standardized components will help to reduce costs. Turbo lag may return, making the cars more difficult to control on the corner exit. The WMSC also approved changes to the technical regulations for 2022 and 2023, which are intended to address both the issues of the aerodynamic porpoising and safety standards for roll hoops. Concerning porpoising, it has now been agreed that from this month's Belgian Grand Prix until the end of the season, changes will be made to redefine the stiffness requirements of the plank and skids around the thickness measurement holes on the cars. In addition to the changes already signified by a technical directive issued to the teams ahead of the summer break. From 2023, meanwhile, the following changes will be made. The floor edges will be raised by 15 millimeters. The diffuser throat height will be raised. The diffuser edges stiffness will be increased. An additional sensor will be mandated to monitor the porpoising phenomenon more effectively. Besides that, following Alfa Romeo driver Joe Granu's crash at the start of the 2022 British Grand Prix, the changes to safety standards for Formula 1 roll hoops were approved to become part of the 2023 technical regulations. Meanwhile, the FIA announced a significant overhaul of roll hoop safety tests for 2024 as a medium-term goal to ensure cars in the future can withstand greater loads. Do you approve the hybrid path Formula 1 is taking? Do you agree with proposed changes to power units? Let us know down in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and ta -ra.